Well, all this week here on the 4 o'clock news, we're saluting Bay Area first responders for the job they do and the risk they take in doing that job day in and day out. And today we're honoring St. Pete Beach Fire Rescue. Recently, they saved a boat full of people when a day on the water turned into a terrifying night. I just heard some noise out front, walked outside, and there was a major emergency response. Memorial Day 2021 is a day Steve Gordon will never forget. I've lived here all my life, and this is the biggest rescue St. Pete Beach has ever had. He grabs his camera. The rescue needed to be documented. A boat has capsized in the channel just behind Steve's home in Boca Ciega Isle. Initially, we weren't really able to tell what was going on. We just heard a lot of screaming. St. Pete Beach Fire and Rescue arrives to try to save the swimmers. Patrick Strong, Blake Sweeney, Joshua Velez Cuevas, and Coleman Vale head into the choppy water on paddle boards. So these fire rescue guys paddled out there in total darkness. Just screaming, help us, help us, can't swim, um, can you see us? Um, and that was just pretty much it. We were going against the current, winds blowing in our ears. Try to pinpoint a building or a light that we could see so we had a direction of travel that we were trying to go to. When you're heading into the darkness towards several screaming voices, um, you don't know what you're going to come up you know, to and what you're going to see. You know, you always fear the worst, so the first question I ask when I get there, is anybody injured? Thankfully, no one is, but nine people are in the water. When you have that many victims, um, you definitely, it increases the chances of something actually going Pretty wrong. Five of the boaters are children. Having kids and knowing that there are kids out there, you definitely want to, you know, your adrenaline gets up a little bit more on that. So you definitely want to make sure that you're doing everything you can um, for, for the families. One woman clings to a channel marker. She was holding on to the, um, the pole, the pylon, and she had the two kids holding on to her in the back. And you're just constantly scanning and uh, assessing each patient and making sure that nobody's, you know, getting overly tired or fatigued. One by one, the rescue swimmers paddle people to shore about 300 yards away, making multiple trips. The fire department was just absolutely focused on rescuing these people. There was no panic. They were just down to business, moving as quick as they could. Just over a half hour after the initial call, all nine boaters and four rescue swimmers are on dry land. I was just really impressed with, uh, they were absolutely heroes. They rescued these people. It was good seeing the family and the friends, everybody back together, kind of seeing them decompress a little bit and check on everybody and just kind of step back and talk with your coworkers and kind of give them a high five, like we did a good job tonight. You never know when you're going to need them either. Now, aside from the bravery of those rescue swimmers, St. Pete Beach Fire Rescue actually credits the survival story also to the boaters who wisely had life jackets on board and were able to use them until help could get there.